Hi YouTube, I'm on my way to the store and I just wanted to give you guys an update on my detoxification from aluminum and plastics leaching into my, not just leaching, but like actually big chunks of it coming off into my coconut water as you twist the internal cap, which mechanism that then breaks the seal that's made of aluminum and plastic and then you, then you digest it and you get poison and you get a really messed up digestive system and you're not processing your food properly, you, you got depression, you got tired, I was very tired a lot, more than no energy. The list goes on and on. At, so at one point, the, at my worst point when I was drinking a whole box of it, and this was going on for a year, okay, at least a year. At, at the worst point when I was drinking the whole box of the damn stuff, I had pulsative tinnitus, which is where you can hear your heartbeat and all kinds of weird noises in my ear. I'm so lucky I didn't go to the doctor. They would have put me on medication. They would have they would have done a, a TC, a brain scan that would have cost me five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. I don't have insurance, you know. I don't. I'm not a sick person. Um, it would have cost me a fortune because that's how they make their money, you know. They're not going to just test your blood for aluminum. I mean, who would think you're getting a poison from aluminum drinking just harmless coconut water? And yeah, they do have a brand called that, but I don't trust it. Why is it pink? I never. I lived in Hawaii for five years. I never had. Uh, fresh coconut with pink water. I mean, maybe it is and some coconuts, but I'm I don't trust it I just I don't trust a lot of things anymore because of what I've been through um, So I had a little setback I know terrible yesterday. I made I made a po big pot. I love pasta. Okay. I made a big pasta um, the tomato was in a jar glass not can so it wasn't that um, my own, the only thing I can think of was um, the cheese um, I, I did a little research on what is because see I'm trying to get rid of all the aluminum in my system so how are you gonna do that you have to eliminate everything and that's what I'm trying to do so I have to eliminate cheese because there's tons of cheese in case you know I never knew that but look it up you know what has high aluminum cheese why because it's accepted in the industry the industry accepts that as standard practice which is bullshit why it's like why it's that's a t don't you don't you understand doesn't anyone understand that aluminum accumulates it's hard to get rid of it's a heavy metal it affects your brain why is this even going on now I've heard there are some cheese brands that have a lot, either a lot, lot less or almost none or none. I don't quote me on that. I don't, I don't, I didn't do enough research, but apparently they have to be not U.S. cheeses because apparently all U.S. cheeses do have the aluminum in them. It has to be European and I, only certain types like Swiss or something. I don't know. Look it up yourself, you know. I'm sure whatever kind of cheese it is, it's very, it's imported and it's very expensive. So, yeah, I have to eliminate cheese, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, it's probably not, it's, you know, it's just not good for you. Um, the aluminum in it, it's not good for you. So, there's that. And a lot of things uh, unfortunately you know I know baking powder when you're making your pancakes or whatever I like pancakes but I will not be using the one with the aluminum anymore okay and I don't even know if I can trust the one that don't have the aluminum it says aluminum free I used to use that one all the time I don't know if I can trust that you know what if they put something else in it that's similar to aluminum which is an aluminum it does the same thing you know that's how it is with these companies they'll say something's free of something but then they just replace it with a whole other toxin you know what I mean that's what they do and they get away with it that's the loophole that's what they do you you buy you think you know you're safe buying these cans saying you know B T whatever free whatever that you know chemical is in the lining well wrong because then they just replace it with a whole other chemical that's just as bad maybe even worse it's called chemical whack-a-mole look it up I'm not making this shit up like you can't make this shit up 
You know, we live in a very, very industrialized, toxified, toxified world, you know, and it's terrible. Oh, I gotta let them know I'm here. Come on, I hate this phone. Come on, it's a blank screen. This is what I go through every time. It's gonna be blank for quite a while, finally. Oh, and then it goes blank again. It never used to do this. So I ordered some locally grown, pasture raised, hold on, I can't do two things at once. Um, what did I just do? I can't even think right now. Oh, I hate this phone. Come on. I hate this phone. It's I can't even think right now. No, it's not six. Okay. Oh, what is going on? Zero. Okay. Hold it down. Hold it down. Okay. Two. Hold it down. Hold it down. I got it now. Okay. Six. I'm just, I can't, like I said, I cannot do two things at once. I'm thinking about what I was going to say and trying to do this at the same time. I can't do it. My brain's just not set up that way. Okay, so I, um, come on, let me know when you got the message. Go ding ding or whatever you do. There you go. There, now I know they got. Okay, so I ordered some, this was like a week ago, and grass fed, local grass fed beef. And um, I, I never got his email. Hold on, I gotta open the trunk. Um, reply, you know. Um, I mean, I got the reply when I ordered, but but I did not get the reply when the order was delivered. Now I know they deliver on Thursday because I used to buy from them quite a bit um, when I had my other renter when I had extra money, and then I kind of stopped for a while. I had no renter. I really don't want to spend the extra money for that. And now that I have another renter, even though I'm not making anything, at least it's paying my taxes. That's how you have to look at it, right? So I thought, well, you know, I just want to really go on a really good detox program. And who knows what kind of antibiotics and stuff are in, you know, factory farm meats. Probably a lot, right? Everyone knows that. So I'm going to get something without the antibiotics for sure, that's locally grown, grass-fed for sure, that's as clean as I can get for sure. And that's what I did. And I was waiting to get his reply, the reply that when they would deliver, I never got one. So the day rolls around, it's a Thursday, and I'm thinking, you know, if I don't hear from them, because I know their delivery day is on Thursday, and usually Thursday and Saturday is their delivery day. If I don't hear from them by the end of Thursday day, I was gonna call them up and see what happened to my order. Sure enough, I get home from the store, because, you know, I was expecting my order that day and I never got no message or anything. I get home from the store and sure enough, I had something then on my email, which was like a day too late because it never showed up. He apparently he, he emailed me early that morning and I did check that morning. Nothing. Okay. Later on about 12, one o'clock. There it is on my email. 6 a.m. I never got it at 6 a.m. The message was delayed by seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, at least six hour delay on that thing, okay? And I let them know that. So now we have this agreement thing where, you know, um, we, um, he texts me or we call or something. I call him or whatever, and we always know it's going to be on a Thursday. But it happened twice. It, it wasn't just a fluke, okay? It happened again. But this time, sure, okay, it happened again, but, okay, so what happens, he, I got my stuff, because I called him, and I told him what happened, and because I had that, I said, um, I must have just missed you, because, you know, he just left, like, right before I got back, I just missed him, he, they don't leave the, 
the food or the meats they don't even though they're they're frozen they don't leave them um, at your door unless you're home right because they don't they don't want anything to happen to it it's expensive meat and you know it's frozen but still you don't want to just leave it out sitting outside so I told him what happened and he goes oh I've heard of that before he's like yeah someone else had the same problem not getting emails or anything so he knew what was going on and so he we rescheduled over the phone for the next day and just by phone no more email and so we were talking about all that and, and I was telling him how much I love organ meats and you know I was wishing that they had some because I didn't see any and then he told me oh well you're probably looking at the wrong site because they have two different I guess they have two different I don't know why they would have two different sites but he gave me the the right one which had the organ meats available so I ordered those and I said okay I'm gonna order these and see you next Thursday so next Thursday rolls around I'm looking for my email again nothing so this time I'm really on it okay so I call him in the morning early Thursday because there was nothing at six o'clock when it goes by seven eight okay okay so I call him at 8 30 right because they're up he's up early and he tells me that oh don't don't worry about it I'll, I'll be there I'll give you an estimated time I'll text you the estimated time you know it was raining that day and he says but um the reason I didn't get the email that he knows of I don't know maybe I never would have got it anyway but what he said was their power was completely out that day so yeah just one more thing to look forward to in the depleting oil age and I know a lot of people don't want to believe it but let's just call it in the depletion of the oil age and the breakdown of civilization as we know it basically you don't want to believe it you don't have to believe it but that's the way I think all civilizations have crumbled why would ours be any different I'm not saying that it's gonna to happen tomorrow I'm just saying it's a very slow process maybe it will we'll have our civilization for the next hundred years maybe we can limp by on solar and wind and stuff maybe we can get by on that you know but um all eight billion Shit. I doubt it and you know what I also doubt that my um let's just call it unwillingly unknowingly drinking heavy amounts of aluminum were by um, a fluke let's just say I don't believe that and I'm not being like all like you know I don't want to say the word but um you know it doesn't take a rocket scientist to make a safe mechanism for opening your drink without a bunch of aluminum pouring into it yeah take care bye